the dense forests serve as the habitat for the most beautiful and patient large cats. The leopards. They are versatile predators, thriving in diverse environments and preying on almost all animals. With a preference for wild boars, the leopard attacks the wild boar, which fiercely defends its young, seeking revenge. The wild boar retaliates against the leopard. In this battle for survival, will the wild boar emerge victorious over the leopard? Or will the leopard secure its desired prey? A leopard suddenly attacks when wild boar is not paying attention. Among all large cats, the leopard boasts the most stunning appearance, yet behind this beauty lies exceptional hunting prowess. Solitary in nature, leopards often rest upon tree branches during the day, utilizing this time to survey potential prey. With padded paws and a flexible skeletal frame, the leopard stealthily approaches its prey even animals with keen hearing struggle to detect the presence of a leopard. Once in close proximity, the leopard employs its hunting abilities, using powerful bites to suffocate its prey. This solitary big cat either consumes the entire meal alone or drag it back to a den for its young. Leopard cubs are nurtured until they reach maturity and eventually part ways with their mother to live independently. In the same habitat as the leopard resides the wild boar, often a preferred prey choice for the leopard. These creatures frequently wallow in mud to escape the heat and coexist with other animals like mongooses. Wild boars typically root through soil to seek nutrient-rich seeds or plant sprouts for sustenance. Their sturdy, compact bodies feature sharp tusks used for digging food and weapons for defense against adversaries. Within wild boar societies, fierce competition prevails, a fundamental aspect of nature. In the morning at the conservation area, the female leopard known as Chica commenced her hunt, lurking near the entrance of the wild boar's den, with her compact frame and ample foliage providing cover. Chica remained undetected by the wild boar. With a swift pounce, Chica successfully attacked the wild boar. Due to the boar's relatively small size, Chica easily subdued her prey. Chica often locates the wild boar's den through her keen sense of smell. Her nose can detect scents from distances of up to two miles, making finding the prey's location relatively straightforward. Chica lies in wait outside the cave, ambushing the wild boar as it exits, catching the prey off guard with a surprise attack. This approach has led to numerous successful hunts by Chica. Regardless of the wild boar size, large or small, Chica endeavors to subdue her prey using her sharp teeth and claws. 
The leopard's biting force ranks fourth strongest among big cats, following the tiger, lion, and jaguars. Each wild boar falls prey to suffocation due to Chica's attack. With a prey of this size, Chica won't need to hunt for the next two to three days. At times, Chica chooses to attack when a group of wild boars is forging. Another morning, two weeks later, Chica abruptly assaulted a herd of wild boars, including both adults and young ones. The sudden appearance of Chica caught the adult wild boars off guard, rendering them unable to react swiftly. Utilizing her tree climbing abilities, Chica evaded the pursuing wild boars, securing her meal. Feeling confident in the high success rate of this hunting method, Chica once again harbored ambitious to attack the wild boar family. Across the vast field, using the tall grass as camouflage, Chica stealthily approached the wild boar family. Another surprise assault ensued, but this time, the mother wild boar swiftly used her sharp tusks to retaliate against Chica, protecting her young one. Chica attempt failed, locking eyes with the wild boar, initiating a chase. Chica could sustain injuries if attacked collectively by the wild boars. Running is the only way for Chica to stay safe. But what if running isn't an option? Another clever tactic Chica employs is utilizing her climbing ability to evade the pursuit of the wild boars. Leopards are the only large cats skilled at climbing trees and can even live in them. Chica holds her ground until the wild boars eventually give up and leave. However, in some instances, Chica daringly attempts to intimidate the wild boars, succeeding in driving away the troublemakers. Ultimately, the resistance from the wild boars and Chica's evasive actions are merely instinctual responses. For Chica, Learning from the past failed risks during hunts means being even more cautious and acting quicker. Training during hunts is also a factor in Chica's skill development. The pursuit of wild boars persists. The hunter's gaze fixated on the prey. Chica's success rate in the hunting increases day by day. Moreover, seeking out the wild boar den to chase the young ones becomes even more daring. Sometimes, despite being attacked by the mother wild boar during the hunt, Chica's swift and honed reflexes enable her to still capture a baby wild boar as a prey. Even after these hunts, Chica remains the most skilled hunter in the area, striking fear into the wild boars as she continues to read as the jungle king.
competition between leopards and wild boars contributes to the ecological diversity of the African ecosystem, as well as other regions. All their actions are instinctual and follow the laws of nature. Additionally, there are many other animal battles waiting for you to explore. Don't take your eyes off the screen and keep watching the most brutal battles in the wild that we've just compiled. The sun has risen over the vast African savanna. Shikavi took his cups out to play. The sunlight gently penetrates through the foliage, making the scene poetic and warm. Following their mother out for the first time, the leopard cup was excited and curious about the magical wild world around her. It playfully runs, jumps, and plays. When they are young, leopards have gray fur, and when they are adults, they wear new yellow clothes with beautiful flower spots like their mother. Among all big cats, leopards are the only known species to live in both desert and rainforest habitats. Leopards are solitary and territorial creatures. Adult males and females will only come together briefly during mating. After mating, they will go their separate ways. Female leopards raise their cubs alone. What a great mother, isn't she? Just look at these happy eyes of the Shekabi leopard. Her cubs are making her life less lonely and more interesting. Shekabi is enjoying the wonderful moments before they grow up and leave her. What a surprise! Look, a lone black streak appears in the sky and gradually becomes clearer. Guess what it is? Oh, a giant eagle. It dominates a vast space like a dictator dominating the sky. When people think of eagles, they often imagine some giant hunter flying across the open space on oversized wings. Indeed, eagles are one of the largest birds of prey in the world. Using large, sharp claws, these giants can take down prey as large as goats. Its eyes were looking intently at something, full of exploration. I have a bad feeling. Is it patrolling its territory or prepared for a day's hunting trip? That's right. A leopard cub was busy playing and separated from its mother leopard. The eagle with eyes as sharp as swords, will relentlessly pursue and definitely not miss a good opportunity to attack it. Danger is lurking. The leopard cub begins to feel worried and scared when it suddenly realizes that its mother is not here. So what do you think will happen next? Will the leopard cub become an eagle's afternoon meal? Yes, indeed. As for the mother leopard, after losing her baby, she is frantically worried and searched everywhere for her baby. It is tiring and a bit disappointing. It lay down and rested a bit and began its search. The story becomes more challenging when the mother leopard has to overcome many difficulties in a dangerous forest. Sadly, while being busy looking for their cup, the leopards strayed into the lion's territory. What will happen when the leopard confronts the king of the grassland? The fierce battle for life took place. The mother leopard wisely avoided the lion's attacks. It lay on its back on the ground bearing its teeth and legs forward in defense. It didn't attack the lion in front of it, but showed mercy. In a few short seconds, the leopard took advantage of the opportunity to turn away in the bewilderment of the lions. It 
it climbed onto a high tree branch. How smart! Lions are not good at climbing trees. After a long wait, the lions lost patience and left. The leopard was injured and it was too hungry. It needs energy to continue this journey. So as it was walking around, it saw the hyena's prey and then decided to take it. Luckily, it was successful. There was a baby leopard that was extremely scared by the pursuit of the eagle. It climbed a tall tree nearby and waited with bated breath. This is definitely the escape lesson that the mother leopard taught it to avoid attacks by lions or hyenas. But it won't be effective against a cunning predator like an eagle. Hopefully, it won't be discovered by the eagle again. Oh, at this moment, it was really happy to see the mother leopard appear at the right time. Before the eagle attacked the leopard cub, the mother leopard roared strongly, startling and distracting the predator. For a mother leopard, taking down a bird isn't a big challenge. The eagle struggled to escape from the leopard's clutches. But it is too late. The bad guys have been punished. The confrontation between the mother leopard and the eagle is an uncompromising battle. The mother leopard, with her mother-child love and courage, wins this fight, and then it quickly rescued its cub, who was struck in a tree. The lesson from the story is about the strength of family love, wisdom in facing difficulties, and courage in the face of danger. The world of wild animals isn't only a place of physical strength, but also a place of heart and emotion. So what do you think what other dramatic stories that'll happen soon? Don't take your eyes off the screen and keep watching the most interesting stories in the wild that we've just compiled. Across the canopy of leaves are the forlorn calls of the mother monkeys. These primate leaders emit warning sounds when they sense danger. And their cries can be heard up to three miles away. They can alert each other, but they can't deter the leopard's advance. The hunter's gaze and the prey's only meet for a second, and the monkey can hardly fathom the swiftness of the leopard's approach. With a monkey in its mouth, the hunt seems as if it never began. Rendering all the monkeys warning fatal, Being solitary creatures, leopards must do everything to survive, and keen observation is a vital skill. They appear nonchalant, but every moment in sound and their vicinity draws their attention. A slow, deliberate step, a clear target. Accelerating to 40 mph, the leopard effortlessly seizes the monkey. In some areas, monkeys are also a preferred meal for leopards. This cunning predator lurks around the bushes where baby monkeys frolic. Their mothers might sense the danger, but the young ones do not. Leaping and grappling with lightning quick paws, the leopard knocks the baby monkey down and his attempts to escape. The adult monkeys are furious, but they cannot deny that their offspring has become a feast for the leopard.
The leopard's exceptional climbing skills are what they take the most pride in. When not hunting, leopards rest in the trees, and their undeniable hunting prowess in the trees is unquestionable. You can only watch as the leopard moves from a branch to another branch, and when it stops, the prey is neatly tucked in its mouth. That prey is the monkey. But sometimes, the leopard's hunt become unexceptionally easy. The baby monkey is too small to consider the leopard a threat. Exploring this, the leopard successfully seizes the baby monkey before the branch breaks, safely landing on the ground. Hey, Tom. One morning in Masai Mara, lions discovered a leopard within their territory and launched a ruthless attack. The male lions and their powerful jaws, delivering bites with nearly 1,000 pounds per square inch of pressure, leaving the leopard severely injured. Though the leopard was eventually spared, the extensive wounds it sustained might jeopardize its long-term survival due to its solitary way of life. The young ones are often vulnerable to predators. In the leopard's hunting expedition, the target was wild dog pups. However, the predator had to pay the price for its actions as the adult wild dogs retaliated. And this was a vendetta. Wild dogs encircled the leopard, launching fierce biting attacks. The sharp fangs of the wild dogs inflicted severe injuries on the leopard's tail and head. Only when the wild dogs momentarily let their guard down did the leopard have a chance to escape. Wild dogs live in packs, and they are opportunistic creatures, always ready to compete for food from others. The leopard spray is a nadir meal. Seizing an opportunity, the wild dogs attack the leopard before it can hoist the prey up the tree. The wild dog pack shamelessly fits in the presence of the leopard. Among leopards, there is also competition, but no one emerges as the victor to claim their prey. While leopards possess climbing abilities, they are outdone by hyenas in terms of timing. Hyenas manage to catch up before the prey is hoisted onto a tree by the leopard. Rarely does a leopard will engage in a fight with a hyena to reclaim its meal. However, it's not that leopards cannot kill hyenas. This moment is a rare occurrence when a leopard has successfully managed to bring down a hyena. Similar to other big cat species, leopard will bite into the hyena's throat to incapacitate it and then carry it to a safe location for consumption. The leopard is the most adept climber among the big cat family. The leopard's habit is to hoist its prey up a tree, which also serves as its shelter. And unprecisingly, this time around, the hyena becomes the prey of the leopard.
For young hyenas, they become opportunities for the dangerous predators. These unfortunate young hyenas become breakfast for the leopard after the storm. Each leopard consumes around 4 kg per day, and it seems that today it has had its fear. The young leopard is attempting to drive the hyena away from its meal. However, the hyena is more aggressive than it anticipates, engaging in confrontation even with the king of the savanna, the lion, in other disputes. With underdeveloped hunting and fighting skills, the young leopard must quickly retreat, surrendering its prey to the greedy challenger. With eyesight twice as powerful as humans, eagles can lock onto a target from a considerable distance and dive down to attack at speeds of several hundred kilometers per hour. It is a terrifying velocity, coupled with a strong striking force and sharp tail lawns, enabling eagles to snatch a baby warthog right while it is walking alongside its mother. A hunting skill few species possess. Every eagle's talon strike carries tremendous force. Sometimes that striking power is enough to cause the prey's demise. Unluckily for the baby buck, it became the eagle's prey when it got separated from the herd due to a deformity. That boldness escalated further when the eagle attacked the head of the leopard as the mother searched for the devoured cup by the eagle. The revenge unfolded even faster and more frenzied. Despite the eagle's nest being several meters high in a tree, the leopard understand and it was determined to attack the eagle, even if it meant enduring pain. The leopard's fangs clamped onto the eagle, paying no heed to the eagle's resistance. And nothing could stop the leopard, it successfully turned the eagle into its prey. Furthermore, with other eagle species, the leopard's attack are merciless. This leopard filled its belly after turning all the fish eagle chicks into a meal, devouring them right in the fish eagle's nest. Leopards aren't only skilled at hunting prey on trees, their ambush tactics also instill fear in their aerial adversaries, within a 5 meter radius, before the eagle even realizes the danger, the leopard leaps and seizes it. The reflexes of a professional hunting machine make those in the sky wary, and sometimes, the attack doesn't necessarily turn the loser into a meal but serves as a warning. Wild dogs often engage in theft from larger predators. The leopard has just made a successful hunt, capturing an impala, but the wild dog swiftly intervened and cunningly snatched the prey away. However, the overconfidence while dogs had no idea that the leopard would retaliate and reclaim what rightfully belonged to it. In a natural world, the law of survival dictates that competition and battle are necessary for continued existence. Between the leopard and the wild dog, there have been numerous encounters, 
mostly involving the River Lee for food. Once again, the Leopard manages to steal the precious prey from the wild dog. Between them, a deep animosity has formed. When they come face to face, the wild dog pack takes the initiative to attack the predator. With their numerical advantage, it is not easy for the leopard to fight back, so it quickly retreats and flees. The wild dogs are relentless in their pursuit of the leopard. Chasing it until it takes refuge in a tree, the persistent wild dogs jump up at the base of the tree, as if wishing they could climb up as well. The leopard maneuvers from one tree to another, engaging in a risky game of escape. Thanks to its tree climbing ability, the leopard manages to escape the relentless pursuit of the wild dogs. This is an advantage that not every predator possesses. However, luck doesn't favor the leopard too many times. It makes a mistake by stealing one of the young wild dogs. The parents become furious and organize a relentless encirclement of the leopard. Being attacked by the wild dogs, the leopard is almost defenseless. It is only when the wild dogs release their grip that the leopard gets a chance to survive. During prolonged droughts in Africa, when food becomes scarce, Leopards opt for one of the most challenging prey to bring down the porcupine. Porcupines are equipped with sharp quells for self-defense, and these quells become formidable weapons that can injure leopards when they persist in hunting porcupines. Having lost their meal and enduring the pain from the sharp quells, the leopard learned a valuable lesson while being on the hunt. Every species desires to claim a territory for their own to live and to rear their offspring. And leopards are no different. They possess a territory spanning 13 square miles, an enticing price for adventurous leopards seeking to conquer it. In this battle, claws, fangs, and various attack maneuvers come into play. A well-aimed bite to the throat can lead to the opponent's demise, and leopards are willing to fight to the death. The intruding leopard was defeated, and the injury sustained could impair its ability to hunt, making life in the wild even more challenging. The can involves female impressed by taking down a large male impeller. But as quickly as she had brought it down, a hyena had been listening to the action. The hyena took ownership of other impeller, even before either of them had killed it. But Boulders was not ready to give up her hard-earned prize and aggressively try to reclaim her kill. In fact, after a successful hunt, the leper will hoist its prey into a tree to avoid scavengers, especially hyenas, trying to steal the meal this is a young male just coming of age, and this is its rare successful hunt 
with the prey being a monkey. During the daytime, lippers dedicate most of their time to rest, and they often hunt more at night. Especially around dusk, lippers will still stand on high branches to observe and select their prey. For smaller prey like baboons, lippers will cause their demise with a bite to the neck and then hoist the prey up into a tree to enjoy. Even though leopards and baboons are age-old enemies, baboons cannot easily defeat leopards. On the contrary, leopards can turn baboons into prey at any time. Even in the broad daylight, where hiding places seems to be non-existent, nothing possesses a challenge to the leopard. The skilled hunter steelethly approaches the ground, moving without a sound. The moment Baboon senses danger is the very moment the leopard concludes the hunt with a victory and a baby baboon in its mouth. And if you truly enjoyed this video, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications bell, so you do not miss out on any of our upcoming wildlife videos. See you again. In the Sub-Saharan Africa, the word hog is a prevalent animal. They have a distinctive appearance with brown fur, elongated bodies, and short legs. Additionally, they sport a pair of tusks developed from elongated canine teeth, reaching up to 25 inches used for digging burrows and foraging for food beneath the ground. Warthogs live in groups and mature females protect their young from danger while also engaging in symbiotic relationships with mongooses. During the hot days, the warthogs cool themselves by wallowing in the mud. Considered relatively intelligent, warthogs display courage when confronting apex predators like lions or leopards. Their weaponry, the shark tusks, serves as both defense and offense, enabling them to fend off and retaliate against potential threats. One of the most adaptable large cats across various habitats, the leopard stands out as a distinctive species. They possess a beautiful appearance, coupled with exceptional hunting and combat skills. Solitary in nature, leopards hunt alone. Ambush is their preferred method when hunting most hoofed and large prey species. The camouflage ability and patience of leopards are among the finest in the big cat family. They can wait for hours to stalk their prey. Additionally, leopards commonly employ a powerful bite to suffocate their prey. Moreover, nearly all animals fall within the leopard's diet rendering it 
one of the most successful survivalists among wildlife species. In the morning, this is the time when warthogs typically forage for food. However, they cautiously survey the area before leaving their barracks. At the same time, a leopard known as Tika had already located the bird using its keen sense of smell with lighting fast speed, attacking in just one to ten of a second. Tika caught the warthog as it emerged from its barrel, capturing a relatively large prey is challenging. But the hunt was successful. Tika often favors hunting warthogs. The following day, it locates the warthog's burrow to hunt for prey. Warthogs typically conceal their young underground while their adults go out to forage. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Tikka swiftly captures several baby warthogs for the hunt. However, Tikka's greed leads to a daring pursuit as it dares to attack the warthog herd while they are foraging together. This surprising gamble results in a successful hunt for Tikka, utilizing its camouflage abilities to approach the prey. At a distance of about 5 meters, Tikka begins to accelerate to attack. It reaches speeds exceeding 60 kilometers per hour to flee up a tree with a baby warthog in its mouth. The success encourages Tikka to employ this tactic in subsequent hunts. Tika had her fell from the previous hunt, satisfying her for three days. It wasn't until the following day that Tika embarked on her next hunt, employing the familiar stalking method of large cats. Tika approached the warthog herd, keeping close to the ground. This time, the vigilant mature mothers were alert. Tika attempted three times, each with a different approach. However, the warthog mothers remained vigilant, and as Tika lunged forward, one of them used her weapons to repel the predator. The force of the warthog's counterattack overwhelmed Tika, leaving her unable to retaliate. Though the second attempt might have resulted in a successful hunt for Tikka. It ended similarly to the first. In the final attempt, when Tikka targeted a warthog mother, the unexpected arrival of a hyena led to the failure of the hunt. With three attacks by the warthogs, Tika sustained injuries. The tusks inflicted two sizable wounds near her neck. More frequently, Tika's left leg was fractured. This was the most severe injury, directly impeding Tika's ability to hunt effectively in the future. Surviving alone becomes an even greater challenge for Tika in the wild.
but Tikka found an alternative method to secure her meals, stealing from wild dogs. This allowed her to obtain food without hunting, aiding her survival during the recovery period. Until Tika fully recovered, frenzied hunts persisted. Tika showed the warthogs who truly ruled this territory. Preys like warthogs provided enough sustenance for Tika's consumption. And later on, Tika will continue to be the hunting prisons for other animals throughout this forested region. Leopards vs. Warthogs represents iconic wildlife in Africa. The competition between them contributes to the diversity within the ecosystem. Beyond the Leopard vs. Warthogs dynamic, there are many other intriguing battles waiting for you to explore. So don't take your eyes off the screen and continue watching the most brutal battles in the wild that we've just compiled. Considered one of the most successful survivors, the leopard is an impressive creature, not only for its appearance, but also for its hunting prowess. Adorned with a golden coat and distinctive black spots, the leopard boasts a sizable body, ranking second among large cats in Africa. Typically, leopards rest in trees during the day, simultaneously observing the prey for hunting. They patiently stalk their prey until within at least a 5 meter range, then launch a swift attack, subduing the prey by suffocation. Additionally, leopards can hunt various preys, including birds and fish. Despite their solitary lifestyle, leopards can successfully hunt larger preys, however, female leopards may cohabit with their cubs, nurturing and teaching them until they reach maturity. With their hunting skills and combat abilities, leopards stand out as one of the apex predators in this region. In tropical rainforests, the intelligent and agile species that shares the closest DNA resemblance to humans is the gorilla. Known as the great ape, gorillas are the largest primates with a tendency to live in social groups. They have distinctive belt with longer arms than legs and a strength six times greater than of a human. Gorillas are herbivores, primarily consuming plants matter but they also incorporate small animals and insects into their diet for additional protein. An adult gorilla can consume up to 10% of its body weight in a single meal. However, gorillas also face significant competition with other species. In the largest forest in Africa, a beautiful and a majestic vichy, a large cat, raises its cups with a male leopard. It keeps a vigilant eye on everything as the presence of intruders poses a threat to the leopard cups. Vichy is ready to fight, but complete victory requires the assistance of the male leopard, the father of the cups. The intruders must retreat, however, another challenge arises with the arrival of the baboons, posing a threat not only to the leopard cups but also competing for food with Vichy. Baboons' relatives of gorillas are intelligent and agile primates. More importantly, they specialize in hunting small hoofed animals and young ones. The baboons manage to steal the leopard's prey. But what they do next is even more terrifying.
Baboons execute a plan to kidnap the Leopard Cups. First, one baboon engages in combat with Vichy. While Vichy is adept at climbing, fighting in the trees puts it at a disadvantage. Baboons leverage their tails for balance and gripping, forcing Vichy to flee to ensure its survival. Another baboon lies in wait and attacks the Leopard Cup, helpless. The cups cannot resist. The baboons carry the Leopard Cup back to their troop. Typically, baboons requires only 3% meat in their diet, and it seems like this will be a satisfying meal for them. Determined to seek revenge, Vichy bravely confronts the baboon troops, regardless of the imminent danger, outnumbered by the overwhelming baboon force. Vichy faces a relentless attack, however, Vichy also issues a warning to the baboons. It must flee to ensure its safety, however, the troublemakers are relentless. The baboons chase Vichy to the river, knowing it must stand its ground. Vichy prepares for a battle. Yet, in the end, Vichy understands that it needs a more meticulous plan for revenge. Firstly, Vichy will stealthily stalk the baboons. This is a skill inherent in all big cats, but leopards, known for their patience, excel at it. Vichy pays attention to the young ones, cleverly approaching its prey. The baby baboons, not fully aware of the dangers around them, play blissfully until Vichy appears. The warning calls of the baboons cannot match the speed of Vichy's attack. The spray doesn't satisfy Vichy. Next is a larger baboon. This time, Vichy successfully takes down an adult baboon. Surprisingly, it discovers a baby baboon still nursing from its mother. It seems as if Vichy recalls its own offspring, sparing the baby baboon. In fact, Vichy takes extra care of the baby baboon, showing the utmost gentleness and consideration. However, adult baboons remain as adversaries to Vichy. It sees them as a prey, and consecutive attacks ensue. Recognizing Vichy's ferocity, the baboons offer feeble resistance and flee incessantly. Many members of the baboon troop become prey for Vichy. In the end, Vichy remains the victor and the dominant force. It reigns supreme over this part of the forest. The hunting continues to provide sustenance for Vichy. The rivalry between Vichy and the baboons remains intense in the wild. <laughs> Leopards versus gorillas. Both wild animals coexist in a shared environment, leading to numerous interactions between them. Every action of the leopard versus the gorilla is instinctual. Additionally, there are many other wild animal battles waiting for you to explore. Don't take your eyes off the screen and keep watching the most brutal battles in the wild that we've just compiled. In Africa, the leopard ranks second in the big cat family. They possess a stunning appearance with golden fur and black spots. Leopards hunt and live solitary lives. They often stalk their prey, whether from high tree branches, dense bushes, or rocky outcrops, utilizing these environments for camouflage. With 
Within a distance of about 5 meters, the leopard accelerates to attack its prey with a powerful bite and a familiar neck bite that halts the prey breathing. The leopard easily subdues various animal species. Beyond clawed creatures, leopards also hunt birds, fish primates, and more. The leopard is considered one of the most successful survivalists in the wild. Unlike the solitary leopard, Gorillas are social animals living in groups. They have black fur and large bodies, three to four times the size of a leopard. Gorillas are intelligent leaders and are scientifically recognized as having a DNA most similar to humans. Gorillas primarily consume plants but are also known for eating small animals. Supplementing about 3% of their diet with animal protein. Despite their herbivorous diet, these leaders of the wild have a territorial and sometimes aggressive nature. If a leopard were to battle a gorilla, who do you think would emerge victorious? Comment 1 if you choose the leopard, and 9 if you choose the gorilla. And now let's follow along with the story to find out the answer. In Luangwa Valley, Lati is a swift and intelligent big cat. Today, it ventures out for a hunt. Its thick petted paws allow Lati to move silently. Baboons, unaware of Lati's approach, shows no defense measures. By the time they realize an attempt to escape, Lati, being quicker and more agile, secures a large prey. Lati often hunts this primate species, leveraging its hunting and combat skills. Lati gains plentiful meals from baboons, whether hunting adults or juveniles. Lati is adept at the task. Moreover, Lati exhibits proficiency in tree-based hunting skills. The depletion in the baboon troops' numbers leads to unrest among them. One of the mature male baboons invaded Lati's territory the next day, stealing its cup. Lati is a single mother with two leopard cubs. However, taking advantage of Lati's absence, the baboons took actions that had significant consequences. Lati sought out the baboon's dwelling. It used to be the baboon's nightmare, but now this troop of leaders has become fiercer. They are no longer overly fearful of Lati. A sudden attack unfolds. The baboons are adept at using their flexible front limbs to assault Lati. The mother has to flee due to the overwhelming number of baboons. The baboons catch up and launch another assault. However, Lati's cleverness helps it escape safely. Lati opts for a different form of retaliation, targeting baby baboons. Initially, it is the familiar stalking approach. Lati appears in the baboon's territory, homing in on the target, the baby baboons. The young ones are not sharp enough to detect danger. It is only when the mature baboons notices Lati that a new alarm cries rings out. However, the warning comes too late, and Lati swiftly captures the baby baboon. The hunting skills of this big cat have been perfected through hundreds of hunts.
On the other hand, baboons continue to resist Laddie. They are not as easy to hunt as before. Fighting in the trees remains the advantage of baboons. The troop with tails for ballast excels in tree-based combat. Laddie is not proficient in tree combat compared to baboons. Some of Laddie's hunts have ended in failure. Nonetheless, Laddie's overall success rate in hunting isn't high. However, the majority of Ladi and its cup's food still comes from baboons. The conflicts between the two species are intense and occur frequently. Ladi turns the baboons into a prey. While the baboons fight to ensure their survival, the battle between them will never cease. A leopard versus a gorilla. Both are characteristic wild animals in Africa. The competition between them adds a unique dynamic to the ecosystem. Moreover, there are many other animal battles waiting for you to explore. So don't take your eyes off the screen and keep watching the most brutal battles in the wild that we've just compiled. Swag Wildlife Moments greets you all. How's your day going, everybody? Whether it is good or bad, we want to extend our sincerest thanks to you. Thank you for trusting and choosing our videos. Each view from you has provided us with a great source of energy to improve our videos every single day, both in quality and content. Once again, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications bell to enjoy our latest videos. The wilderness is vast, so let's explore more fascinating things together.